Today's topic is drum level methods of compensation. There is another name of this topic that is density compensation for boiler drum level measurement. When boiler steam drum pressure is not at its design value, the differential pressure based level devices and, and even most sight glasses experience inaccuracies in measurement. A differential pressure transmitter is used to measure drum level. If the measurements are sensitive to density variation, then density compensation techniques must be employed. The changes in pressure can be overlooked on boilers operating at lower pressures. But for most boilers, corrections must be made for the changes in accuracy. This is the graph for uncompensated drum level measurement error. Here we can see that as the drum pressure increases, the error percentage increases. This is the tabular form for the uncompensated drum level measurement error. On high pressure boilers, a condensate pot is necessary for the top connected water leg to stay full of condensate. If the condensate level varies in the top connected leg, the drum level measurement will not be accurate. On the high pressure side of the measuring device, the effective pressure equals boiler drum pressure plus the weight of a water column at ambient temperature having a length equal to the distance between the two drum pressure connections. On the low pressure side, the effective pressure equals boiler drum pressure plus the weight of a column of saturated steam having a length from the upper drum pressure connection to the water level and the weight of a column of water at saturation temperature having a length from the water level to the lower drum pressure connection. On higher pressure boilers, typically above 1000 psi, a considerable error in level measurement at other than the operating pressure exists when a differential pressure is used due to water density changes in the boiler drum. There are several approaches that can be taken to calibrate the DP transmitter being used for drum level measurement. These approaches are as follows. No compensation. Calibrate for 0 PSIG in the drum. 
This is calibration strategy 1. It shall be accurate at 0 PSIG only. No compensation. Calibrate for drum operating pressure. Calibration strategy 2. It shall be accurate at operating pressure only. Calibrate for 0 PSIG and compensate for deviations from that pressure. This is calibration strategy 3. Now we are going to discuss calibration strategy 1. LT, the drum level transmitter, is calibrated for 0 PSIG operating drum pressure. LT is a DPT type level transmitter. LT is lab calibrated for input 0 inch water column level and the output is 4 milliampere. Input is H inch water column level and the output is 20 milliampere. Here we may mention that H inch is the difference between the top and the lower water level sensing tappings of the boiler drum. When LT is used along with an inverter circuit, following relationship is achieved. Input DP equal to 0 inch WCL. Output is 20 milliampere. Input DP equal to H inch WCL that is water column level and the output is 4 milliampere. Here is the graph for inverter output versus level transmitter input drum pressure at 0 PSIG. Here we can see that in Inverter output is 20 milliampere for 0 inch water column level and inverter output is 4 milliampere for H inch water column level. The indicator is calibrated to indicate minimum level for 4 milliampere input. The indicator indicates maximum level for 20 milliampere input. DP subscript L is equal to H inch water column level. DP subscript L stands for the differential input to the transmitter when water in the drum is up to lower tapping point. For the situation shown in the diagram, the LT and inverter arrangement shall indicate minimum level. DP subscript U is equal to 0 inch water column level. DP subscript U stands for differential input to the transmitter when water in the drum is up to higher tapping point. For the situation shown in the diagram, the LT and inverter arrangement shall indicate maximum level.
Conclusion The differential pressure transmitter when used along with a condensate reservoir, inverter circuit and an indicator or controller indicates correct level when boiler drum pressure is at zero gauge pressure. At other operating pressures, this arrangement shall give wrong indication. Calibration Strategy 2 LT, the drum level transmitter, is calibrated for a specific operating drum pressure. At this operating pressure, a specific density of drum water and drum steam is used for calibrating the level transmitter. Here we have shown the chart for specific weights versus drum pressure. Using the values given in the attached chart and formulae given in the subsequent slides, we get values for DP subscript L and the DP subscript U for drum pressure at a particular high PSIG. LT is a DPT type level transmitter. LT is lab calibrated for a specific drum operating pressure. When input is DP subscript U inch water column level, output is 4 milliampere. When input is DP subscript L inch double water column level output is 20 milliampere. When LT is used along with an inverter circuit following relationship is achieved. When input DP equal to DP subscript inch WCL or water column level output is 20 milliampere. When input is DP equal to DP subscript L inch water column level output is 4 milliampere. Here is the graph for inverter output versus level transmitter input drum pressure at high PSIG. So in the graph we can see that when input to the DPT is DP subscript U inch water column level the output is 20 milliampere. When the input to the DPT is DP subscript L inch water column level, the output is 4 milliampere. The indicator is calibrated to indicate minimum level for 4 milliampere input. The indicator indicates maximum level for 20 milliampere input. When water in the drum is up to lower tapping point, DP subscript L is the transmitter measured differential water column level. And here is the formula for 
dp subscript l which is given here we are going to use this formula for calculation of dp subscript l inch water column level for the situation shown in the diagram the lt and inverter arrangement shall indicate minimum level when water in the drum is up to higher tapping point dp subscript u is the transmitter measured differential in terms of water column level and here is the formula for dp subscript u inch water column level with the help of which we can calculate dp subscript u inch water column level for the situation shown in the diagram the lt and inverter arrangement shall indicate maximum level conclusion the differential pressure transmitter when used along with the condensate reservoir inverter circuit and an indicator or controller indicates correct level when boiler drum pressure is at the specified high gauge pressure for which dp subscript l inch water column level and dp subscript u inch water column level have been calculated for other drum pressures this arrangement shall not indicate accurate drum level calibration strategy 3 lt the drum level transmitter is calibrated for 0 psig operating drum pressure a compensation block is used to take care of the changing drum operating pressure requirement it is required that drum level is indicated accurately irrespective of the saturation pressure in the drum it is required that the lt is lab calibrated for 0 psig drum pressure solution a compensation block is used as shown the compensation block gives output modified as per the densities of the water and steam at the saturated drum pressure so the indicator controller shows the correct drum level here we can see the compensation block and we are giving as inputs to this compensation block drum pressure and reference leg temperature here in this diagram we are showing compensation block output versus level transmitter input this graph we have shown for 0 psig drum pressure and the 2600 psig drum pressure these are the two extreme pressures using the values given in the attached chart and formulae given in the previous slides we get 
for drum pressure at 2600 psig dp subscript l approximately equal to 0.865 capital h inch and dp subscript u approximately equal to 0.456 h inch compensation block input versus output the output curves for two pressures have been shown 0 psig drum pressure and 2600 psig drum pressure in between the two extreme pressures there shall be many more output curves but they have not been shown for sake of clarity here it can be seen that compensator output curve shifts itself as per the drum pressure so that compensator output is correct as per input dp and drum pressure conclusion compensation curves can be generated without knowing the exact normal operating pressure once these curves are generated they can be used even if the normal operating pressure changes conclusion here it has been tried to explain pressure compensation of boiler drum level measurement it is also called density compensation because drum water and drum steam density changes with drum pressure a system block approach has been used to explain the concepts the next step is to derive compensation equations it is hoped that this lecture is useful to you please press like button please subscribe